Hi everybody, I'm Lights Cameron Jackson. The action comedy of the family consists of beatings, stabbings, shootings, killings, and a whole lot of blood. And more than a few laughs as well. Robert De Niro stars as Fred Blake, who is really Giovanni Manzoni, a former Brooklyn Mafia boss who testified against the family. He's married to Michelle Pfeiffer's Maggie, and they have two teenagers, Belle and Warren. They're living under the Witness Protection Program and have just been moved to Normandy, France. The mob bosses who Fred put in prison are trying to find and kill him. Tommy Lee Jones leads a small group of FBI agents whose job it is to keep the Blakes alive and out of trouble, which is easier said than done. While the tone of the film is unique, the family suffers from a bad case of predictability. There isn't much new in the script, and the structure is rather uneven, going from lengthy conversation scenes to moments of jarring violence. The script does keep you wondering what's coming next, and the minor characters, including two agents who are watching the family 24-7, and a local priest are well written. As for the performances, the showcase scenes are designed for De Niro and Jones, and they don't disappoint. Pfeiffer plays it rather straight, but one of the bright spots in the cast is Glee's Diana Agron as Belle. At 27, she not only pulls off the role of a high school student who's learned a lot from her father when it comes to protecting herself, but is also quite good in a few emotional moments. The family is rated R for all the violence, a trunk full of F-bombs, and other adult content. It's appropriate for teens and up. On the official LCJ report card, the family gets a solid B. I'm Lights Camera Jackson. For all of my reviews, you can go to lights-camera-jackson.com and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.